Have you ever wanted to play your Steam games on the TV while sitting at on your couch? And this is exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm sitting on my couch. My PC is really far away from my television. It's not connected via an HDMI cable. Isn't that really surprising? How have I done that? We'll see in this video. The first step is you go to the app store and you search for the Steam Link app and you install that. Once that is completed, just open up the app and you should see the list of computers that are running Steam right now on the same network. So this is my desktop, I'll connect to that and it gives me a code over here. Now these four digit codes will show up on my PC as well. So here you go. I see the request. I need to authorize the device. So I'll just enter the code. 2638. Click OK. And let's see. Over here on the television it has started doing the network test. So it has connected to the PC and it's doing a network test. Now mind you, I'm connecting both of these wirelessly. So my PC is running on the Wi-Fi network as well as the television. So they both are connecting on the Wi-Fi network. Because of that, you can see that the variance that I'm getting, which is basically the ping or the lag, is 180 ms for the network time and plus minus 35 ms. Now this is a very high network time. If I connect it through the LAN, I get a much lower uh, MS. And this here is how it is on the wired connection. You can see the network time 6 MS, variance of uh, 2.75, so maybe like 9 milliseconds. And that's a pretty good connection speed. So we just click OK. And it quickly opens up the store. Now, you'll see a difference in the resolution because somehow when I open up Steam this way, it does not give me a proper resolution. So, I have to somehow change this now. now let's try going to the settings and see what all can I do. Okay. So, let's change the desktop resolution to match the streaming client. Let's do that. And then we'll see that it has opened up properly over here as well as on the television. Okay, now a quick note. This has opened up in a mirroring manner. So it is showing the same thing on the PC as it is over here. I cannot use it as an extended screen. But what I can do is I can exit from the app. And let's open it up again. And it gives us two options. See. The one on the left is the mirror mode and there is something called game mode. So let's select game mode. Now if you have a controller, over here I have an Xbox controller which I am going to use. I am using it wired because you can use it wirelessly as well. But uh, your television needs to be able to connect to that. Now this is a very low end television and a low end model, it's not able to connect wirelessly. So I'll be using it wired. Right. So let's just select desktop again. And you'll see it's giving us this controller mode now. And you can also notice the lag and the delay. All right, now, over here we are seeing our library. And the next thing that we need to do is choose a game and try playing that. recent games and Hogwarts Legacy. So let's try playing that. Over here and you can see I'm using the controller to control everything. All right. it's external controller, this is showing me the translation, how to use it. And the gamepad, game will use the official layout of the gamepad and blah 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 blah. So it basically identifies which controller you have and if it doesn't you can actually do and if it doesn't then you can choose it 
via the settings inside uh, Steam itself. You can choose how the controller gets recognized, what sort of a controller it is. So you can choose an Xbox controller or a PS uh, controller. Now you can see over here it is loading up on the television and at the same time it's also loading up on my PC. So it's not going to run on the TV, right? it's going to run on your PC and it will just mirror that on the television. Now what this can do is if you have like a long USB cable you can actually take that all the way up to here, sit on your sofa and start gaming. Or if you're having a higher end television then you can use it wirelessly as well and there is another option that if you want to use the controller wirelessly uh, with the TV and if your uh, and if your PC is in a different room if it's in the same room you could connect it to the PC and still play but if it's in a different room and far away and you want to use that what you could do is get one of these adapters this is an 8-bit duo adapter so this is just like a USB stick uh, all you need to do is first program it with your controller. So you just connect it to a PC and then program it. There is a whole host of details on their website of how to do that. So there, there are instructions over here of how to do it. So you go to the website, see how to pair it. And once you are done, you just take the USB and plug it behind your television. And you'll be able to use the controller wirelessly with it. So let's start doing that as well. Okay, so now I have connected the 8-bit duo and you can see controller wireless I press A it has started and I can just sit at the comfort of my sofa and play Hogwarts there you go as you can see for a story mode game there is not much lag you know it's not really it's there but you won't really notice it inside a story game mode if you're playing an FPS shooter like maybe Apex uh, then yes, you will notice it and Rainbow Six as well and it would run But it wouldn't be that great and you can see there is a little bit of pixelation uh, On the sides, so I'll just zoom in and you can see it see the quality is not as good now This is because I have connected wirelessly if I connect this and my PC uh, Through a LAN cable then it would be much more uh, clearer and much more faster and it would give me a higher resolution as well. So there you go. I hope you liked this uh, short tutorial of how to play games on your television uh, using the Steam link. So until next time, see you. Bye.